Main point I made up against him is that it seems like there's a pattern of you, everyone who's coming out to you, anyone who critiques you, you just insinuate or outright just call a pet file. <laughs> and he says, no, dude, I, I don't see the pattern there. What are you talking about? Fucking flash forward 30 minutes later, he's doing it to me in the same conversation. If you're going to cope post to send your lollies over, you should address cucking Tom and you should and you looking for petite breedable girls and saving lollycon depicting what five-year-olds none of this is fuck the, none of this is fucking true thank you for proving my points that anyone who calls you out you will peter jack at them i've been honest and non-biased towards both sides here and this is seriously your response so that was the context of yesterday's stream i had that conversation and debate with him completely imploded destroyed his fucking career i mean um essentially for anyone who's familiar with them I'm familiar with him. Destroyed any credibility he has of anyone paying attention with this situation. I'm also going to be doing a whole main channel video going over this within uh, about a week or so, max like 10 days or something, because I already have all the points. It's just a matter of getting all the information quickly and out. And also in the conversation, if you do remember, fucking Plague Moth released this video um, I, on Cuck Raven, Cold Raven, and also that creepy reading after my conversation with Creepy uh, with uh, um, Cold Raven. In my debate that I had with him in Slime Beast, he released a video out the next day after that. But um, <laughs> if you if you remember, he shouted me out in the fucking description. Like I'm pretty sure I asked like him the... straight up. Like he fucking says to me first and foremost, like that he like he said, go subscribe to at Lyrics Law in the description. But he took it out now. He took it out. And if you look at his comment section, even though I asked him like straight up, dude, are you gonna take out take away the shout out? And he's like, no, dude. I won't take out the shout out. I appreciated you, but then he did. He took it. He took it away, and uh, someone commented down description already edited already, and he says can't support lollies. <laughs> it's just like funny wording. It's just retarded wording. I mean, he's obviously just trying to like insinuate and call me a pedophile, but he's like so retarded. He's calling me a lolly. He's calling me like a fucking little anime girl. Like, are you retarded? <laughs> like. Good fucking meme, <laughs> but uh, so that was the case with that. Unfortunately, he did take away the shout outs and also um, the phantom community post that is no longer there has been removed. As you could see, there's only one from two days ago, but I did get screenshots before in case you guys didn't see. Let me zoom this in a little bit on the tweet. But um, he's unironically pedo jacketing me now, too, by the way, after getting bent the fuck over for two hours, lol. Thank you for proving my point, Moth, where the main point I made up against him is that it seems like there's a pattern of you, everyone who's coming out to you, anyone who critiques you, you just insinuate or outright just call a pedophile. <laughs> and he says, no, dude, I, I don't see the pattern there. What are you talking about? Fucking flash forward 30 minutes later, he's doing it to me in the same conversation. But um, this is the community post he put out saying, I fucked up. He's a lolly. And also there was an edited community post of this that I have on my other computer. I don't have it pulled up for the stream right now, but he edited this community post. And then he said, also, by the way, that creepy reading and slime beast are still pedophiles. Fuck you. It was something on the line along the lines of that. So, um. This is what happened, though. He added this video of um, accusing me, which is ironic because this guy Grimsy, he made a video, he made a video like fucking uh, shitting on me. But Grimsy didn't call me like a fucking pedophile or anything like this or like pedo jacking me, uh, jacketing me at all. Um, but then for further clarification about this in DMs with Plague Moth this is what I wanted to go over on stream to show that I'm not hiding anything because uh, someone did ask me in the comment section below. And I know I have a lot of new fans as well. And I wanted to make a full fleshed out statement just addressing this bullshit in, in total um, just so it doesn't come up anymore. And so I can always point to a fleshed out statement that is my response to this whenever anyone asks. Where uh, someone says, looks like fun drama. Personally, I think you are in the right. But I think it's time to address the retarded lolly argument people have against you. This is the perfect opportunity. Because I also saw a lot of people saying in like, the comment section below that like, you know, Lyrics potentially could be weird as well, but also, or like a fucking D gen as well, but also look at you too. And I just want to like clear up these fucking like allegations, I guess. Um, I wrote up whole statements that I'm going to read it later. Seems like you went through a weeb phase and liked a lot of anime arts. None of it looks like actual porn. It's not, but I wrote out a full flush statements that I want to talk about, but I responded to this saying, yeah, I'm not hiding anything. This is what I sent to Plague Moth when he DM me about it. Hope that helps. And like other people are commenting down below saying anyone who cares about that anime review either didn't watch it or is projecting their pedophilic intent on me. Slime Beast comes in saying, here come the veiled threats, knowing your real name. Yeah, for some weird reason, Plague Moth starts addressing me by my like real legal name, Liam, um, in the DMs. It's really weird. 
Um, I assume because you talked to that Mr. Sen guy who like parades around my real name. Like it's a fucking own against me that my name is Liam. It's just like really fucking cringe. That's the, that's the context in that situation. I think it's time just overall to go over the... The DMs as well, but in less than 24 hours later, Plague Moth deletes his community post, pedo jacketing me after getting ratioed and shit on in his comments. Because the last time I saw it, he maybe had like 45 likes and 60 to 59 comments, and a lot of people were just like ratioing him, and he was getting blown the fuck out. He was getting blown the fuck out in his comment section, so I assume he ended up deleting it, and maybe for another reason why I DM'd him as well, so... Wanted to go over these and cover these DMs, but that's the quick, that's the little preamble first and foremost. Um, he has been using my full legal name in his videos for a while now. Austin Porcock is my favorite. Quite frankly, he's a loser. No one in the community respects him. Everyone is fed up with this. Yeah, it really just seems like it. But um, so I want to just go over all of this first and foremost, covering this situation. So I'm um, going to pull this up on stream of my DMs that I have with the guy. So this was before the conversation. He's asking me just like he doesn't want to do any blood sports and he doesn't want Slime Beast to interfere in the conversation or like any, anyone else like that creepy reading. I'm respectful. I say, yeah, I completely understand. It will only be you and me in the call. And if your wife wanted to join too, <laughs> which that ended up happening as well. Thanks, I'm all extra, I'm all uh, for actual debates and arguments, but them, like that's a dog pile of weirdos and that's coming from my weird ass. So then after that, we have the call. This is the link he sends me while talking about it. This is the 60 Minutes of Australia that he sent me during the conversation. Another thing he sent me during the conversation, I'm here. This is another bullshit thing that he sent during the conversation. But um, this is directly after. Oh, I see now. And he sends me the link to the Grimsy video. Lolly Lyrix was a thing. And then I read out to him saying, thank you for proving my points that anyone who calls you out, you will pedo jack at them. I've been honest and non-biased towards both sides here. And this is seriously your response. For clarification, I of course am not a lollycon. I've not liked lollycon or nude sexual pictures of lolly. The pictures I have liked were cringe. Yes, that's undeniable. But nothing sexual to show I am attracted to any of it. I draw and used to like anime art on Twitter. That is the reason why. There's no other reason. This only makes you look worse. I don't know why you think this is a good response. That deleted video of you reacting to era ma manga san sensei, dude. <laughs> yes, I made a cringe video reviewing a popular anime, Era Manga Sensei. It was cringe, but in the video, I condemned the lewd nature throughout the show, even saying that it ruined the show. I'm mind blown that you think this is the right approach here, man. Good luck. It just explains a lot, like a lot, a lot. So at this point, his brain is completely broken, and he's decided just straight up that he's going to accuse me of being a pedophile and that pedo jacking me saying that I'm a fucking lollycon and forming this narrative that the only reason I defended people like slime beast and fucking creepy reading as well is because I'm defending my pedophile fucking lollycon soldiers so he can brush off any real critiques I have of the guy. Um, okay, man, I know deep down that you're grasping. At sh I know deep down, you know, you're grasping at straws, but that's all I got for you. You're young and entitled to think, you know how to save face. Uh, we see that deleted lolly accounts, a lolly Kali Liam. This is when it got really fucking weird. Um, the not safe for work kids. None of that is true. Um, what the fuck? Why'd you delete that account? If you yourself said it's pedophilia, he's all over the fucking place here. These are just schizo messages. Why do you save it? Why did I save what? But what is he even talking about? We have that clip and the account, so I mean, WTF, dude. This guy is just completely out of his depth. He then sends me a Reddit post from the clipped live of people saying what happened to lyrics. Um, however, kudos for fucking cooking Tom. Have a good night. If you're going to cope post to send your lollies over, it just sounds like he had one conversation with Mr. Sen and just became Mr. Sen. Um, because this is the same shit that he's been like repeating and obsessively talking to uh, about me. A community post and live streams on videos for the last like fucking few weeks, if not months at this point. If you're going to cope post to send your lollies over, you should address cucking Tom and you should and you looking for petite breedable girls and saving lollycon depicting what five year olds. None of this is fuck. The, none of this is fucking true. Depicting fucking five year olds is just the most disingenuous interpretation of fucking anything. But um, and him saying <laughs> my cope post of putting lollies over clarification that's me uh <laughs> making this post is me saying after getting bent over for two hours straight in our debate plague moth proves my point and is now pedo jacketing me great uh idea my man plagued moth and this is me putting out a community post calling him out for doing this but um i put out that community post which is apparently me sending my fucking lolly arm ar <laughs> my armor my fucking lolly army uh out against him 
And uh, I also say these are the DMs Plague Moth sent to me after stream. Blows my mind why he thinks it's a good idea. Completely unhinged. And also made this last community post saying, And less than 24 hours later, Plague Moth deleted his community post, pedo jacking me after getting ratioed and shit onto all hell in his comment section. Now I just say and respond to him saying, Hey man, I've gone out of my way when everyone else is accusing you of being a pedophile to argue in your favor and clear the air with those allegations, which is exactly what I did. In my conversation with Cold Raven and my conversation with Slime Beast, I argued in his favor and was good faith to him to not just blatantly jump on a harassment campaign accusing him of being a pedophile, but instead asking for evidence, asking for proof, and poking holes in Cold Raven and Slime Beast's story. But when it's the other way around and he feels like he lost the debate, he instantly flips on me. Um... And clear the air with those allegations to the extent that your wife literally DM'd me thanking me for doing that and not just joining the harassment pit campaign against you. Plus, you even shouted me out in your description because of it. He was applauding my fucking name. But now, when I have genuine critiques of you and defend the people you accused of being a pedophile the same way I defended you, now you immediately join a campaign to smear me as a pedophile the minute after our conversation. Take a step back and look at the big picture here and what you're doing. Because that's exactly what the case is. I treated both sides completely fair. I looked at all sides there. But there's just a complete uh, discrepancy in where, which how I respond to him when he's accused of being a pedophile. And the instant, the actual literal minutes after our conversation ended, he immediately hopped on the fucking campaign to fucking call me a pedophile. Um, Jess, thank you for the $2. Moth, the type of guy. Um, thank you so much for the donos. But um. So I send that message to him and I also say, I follow up saying, I have strong disagreements with you, but this pedophile accusation shit really crosses the line. You have kids and you know the ramifications of pedo accusations yourself. So it just blows my mind that you would do it to me considering how I've treated you with your accusations against you. But this guy has no morals. This guy has no standards. He doesn't uphold any of these things that he says he believes in because for the same reason why he sent out false DMCA copyright strikes to other people, he doesn't like he's been a victim of false DMCA copyright strikes and has gotten his channel taken down and deplatformed for that. But after even that happening to him, he then does the same thing to other people. He sent out false DMCA copyright strikes to Spinlane. And very similar here, he fucking pedo jackets me and accuses me of being a pedophile right after our conversation. Um, so he then responds saying, you said yourself, Lolicon is pedophilia. You saved over a thousand images of Lolicon. And then he corrects himself saying liked. This is, of course is not true. Just completely, uh, completely disingenuous the way he's phrasing all of this. But I'll get to my big statement I've written down to respond to all of this in a second. I wrote it all in a big Google document. But um, so I said, yes, I said, if someone is attracted to Lolicon porn that depicts children, they are a pedophile. Did you read what I said above? I'll repaste it. And me just repasting again for saying, of course, uh, for clarification. I, of course, am not a Lolicon, never liked Lolicon. I already read that before. And I say, why are you being purposely disingenuous to frame me as a pedo when I was good faith and defended you from your pedo accusations? He says, I think it's ironic and makes sense. So this guy's just a broken record. Nothing is coming from this. But um, he's saying, I'm not framing you as a pedo now. I'm bringing up a logical argument you, and using your words to try and get a better understanding. However, you keep deflecting and telling me this isn't a good response and keep trying to gaslight me into thinking that you did me some sort of favor. So I asked him, what do you think I'm deflecting right now? I, dire I directly responded and addressed what you said to me, giving you an explanation. And he says, yes, you point out the obvious that I'm not a pedophile. You went out of your way to try and clear the names of pedophiles, though. So this is just what this conversation has come to. He's, he's unironically just like saying that I went out of my way and it was my intentions. The only reason for talking to him and for even getting involved in this plague moth situation is to clear the name of fucking pedophiles. It's just like completely absurd um like clear the name of pedophiles i'm pretty sure i even said in my written statement out loud to him that hey i haven't had the time to look into all these specific cases one by one so i was just curious if you could give me the understanding and your basis for why you call these people a pedophile including slime beast including that creepy reading including lazy bedhead's boyfriend so i was just curious on what his clarification was and what his basis was for making these crazy accusations but he framed this to try to say that I was trying to clear the names of fucking pedophiles. So he's doubling down on all my enemies are pedos. Yes. And have the same interests in Lollicon. So 
The last two messages I say, so you're ignoring everything else I've said to you in defense of Slime Beast and that creepy reading, but selectively create this narrative that since Lyrix is a lollycon, he made it his mission to defend his lollycon fucking soldiers. Seriously, man. He says, to be honest, it just clicks strangely. Doesn't really matter if you doesn't really matter. You got your content, lol. I should have looked into you before I agreed to the stream. That's my bad. But I have better shit to do than pine on you and your channel. <laughs> Saying that at this point, there I just knew this wasn't going anywhere. So um, that's the end of that conversation right there. He's doubling down, just accusing me of being a pedophile because he's coping that he fucking lost in the conversation. That's all what happened. One late drive, thank you for the $5. Sen trying his best to beef with anyone that can give him more than 40 live viewers after his attempts with Tommy C and Augie failed. Thank you for the $5. Thank you. What started all this? Are you not familiar? I uh, started I the debate yesterday. Is that what you were talking about? Um, but uh, also, just quickly, I wanted to go over like some of the DMs I fucking had with uh, Plagued Goddess on Discord as well. Um where the, the, just for clarification this was her uh that i mentioned yesterday of her like dming me before the conversation saying like hey by the way in case you bring up like the transphobic allegations um it was just a mistake that moth dead named this trans person they didn't really know it's like okay dude i don't give a fuck <laughs> i don't care <laughs> you you're sorely mistaken if you think that i was going to enter this conversation saying like um are you going to be, <laughs> did you dead name fucking Keffels or Chris Chan? Like, dude, who gives a fuck? Uh, just think of the $5. All my enemies are ontologically evil and anything I say or do to them is morally neutral. Yeah. Thank you. But, um, so, uh, she says, um, I watched a live stream you posted at the end. Slime beast claimed that moth was transphobic. <laughs> Real allegations here, dude. And dead named someone. Back in March, the per this person was saying some things about Moth randomly. Moth posted the screenshot, which contradicted what they were saying. I can't seem to find the original tweets, but this is the screenshot used. Apparently, their screen name is something different now. They originally just demanded we take it down. Then a couple hours later, had a bunch of people harassing us, saying Moth dead named them? In case I'm unable to join you and Moth, I wanted to put this out there. Thank you for clearing that up, Mama. Moth, really appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, Law, I appreciate you clarifying, but to be honest, I don't care either way whether or not Plague Moth has dead named someone or is transphobic. The live stream definitely won't be me asking him questions like that. Looking forward to tonight, though. Okay, cool. We we're having friendly interactions. My Google Home is fucking going off. But we had friendly interactions, you know, me and Plague fucking got us. Uh, she then continues saying, all the privacy complaints are my fault. This was during the stream <laughs> when she was giving me a different story than her husband. This is a fucking AIDS. But uh, he doesn't know what the fuck hap he, uh, he doesn't know what the fuck was filed because he didn't do it. It's not what he was telling me. He was lying for me. <laughs> These people are a fucking mess. But um, at this point, I DM her because I felt like I had at least better rapport with uh mrs moth because she came into the conversation even after me like bending over plagued uh moth for fucking two hours straight if you remember she came into the conversation and on the phone with me and saying that you know what i i, I still do like you though i'm not going to send a privacy complaint to you because i still feel like that you've been a very unbiased narrator in this whole conversation and i appreciate that <laughs> even after me like fucking shitting on her husband for two hours straight i don't know if she wasn't watching or whatever but um that's what was going on. So I just DM'd her saying, don't know if you're aware of this, but like, what the fuck is going on? This is rough. If you're able to, I'd appreciate you trying to talk some sense into him. And that's me sending the DMs um, to Plague Moth because this guy's just talking to a fucking brick wall. And if I could help it, I would like not to be fucking called a pedophile by a 400k sub YouTuber. So if I could avoid that, I would really much appreciate it. It seems like I am avoiding it a little. He deleted his community post, <laughs> but uh, that's the reason I reached out to her. Uh, I've heard out your side and been good, good faith to both of you. Um, I may have strong disagreements with both of you, but uh, this is absurd. Hoping this will get worked out. Thanks. He, and uh, she responds this morning saying he assured me he wasn't making any content about you. I don't know if that's going to change, but that's what's going on. And that's the DMs that I have with Plagued Moth, Mrs. Fucking Moth and Mr. Moth. That's the conversations there. Um, and now going right into it. Um, there's some clips that I could go over, but I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with the conversation that I had the other day with him. But afterwards, on um, after the stream, after the conversation, he left and we left. I gave him the fin final last statement. But then he decided to um, go on this guy called 
Mr. Sen's stream. Now, Mr. Sen is a guy who's been obsessively talking about me for like the last few weeks, if not months. Um, ever since the Mama Max situation that's been going on, he's been consistently talking about me, making consistent live streams, consistent community posts, and most recently, a video calling me a lollycon. This guy is completely bad faith narrator and unhinged liar who just lies straight through his teeth because he has a personal vendetta against me. I wrote up a whole statement addressing this guy because unfortunately, I have to talk about this now since uh, big, bigger creators like Plague Moth are getting involved with him and hopped on his live stream, um, including yesterday where uh, Lyrix Big Oopsie, this is the live stream um, that, that Plague Moth, <laughs> literally the minute after <laughs> my conversation with him that he hopped on. Um, Jess, thank you so much for the $5. Moth loves the Red Pagan Network while Plague Goddess watches. <laughs> okay, dude, that's fucking AIDS. But, um, so this is the situation that we have here. Um, where is it when Plague Moth calls in? So Plague Moth comes in around here. Oh, I wonder if he's around. Let's see if he's around now. Hello. What's up? Hey, Plague Moth, how's it going? Doing all right. <laughs> I'm assuming you're Sorry. done with uh, with Liam over there, right? Yeah. Wait, his name's Liam. Yeah, it's. Liam. Yeah, for some reason, he just addressed me by my first name. It's just really uncomfortable and weird. But before, first and foremost, getting into this conversation and this live stream of Plague Moth talking to Mr. Sun, this is like five minutes after we hung up the fucking call too. Um, he immediately hops in this fucking live stream because in the middle of my call and conversation too, Sen was like immediately like DMing because that's the whole reason that Plague Moth tried to pedo jack at me live on air is because Mr. Sun was DMing him and trying to like give him evidence or some sorts or like uh, give him reasons to call me a pedophile live on air because I don't know. I, I honestly don't understand why he just has a personal vendetta against me. But um, first and foremost, before going over this whole conversation and the stream, I wrote up this whole statement that I wanted to go over and read out live on air because um. Addressing basically all the allegations, because unfortunately I have to talk about this now. Um, because Mr. Sen just obsessively just will not stop. So I wrote this whole statement that I wanted to go over and read out, explaining all the context of the situation. Since again, it's getting more attention, and people like Plague Moth with 400k subs are now using this against me as well. So wanted to talk about this. So first and foremost, just gonna read this out saying, uh, a YouTuber named Mr. Sen has been continuously spreading blatant lies about me over the past few months. This guy has a personal vendetta against me and has been constantly spreading narratives on both YouTube and Twitter that have absolutely no sources or evidence to back them up. He will go as far to purposely misquote and mischaracterize things I've said constantly, banking on the assumption that no, will, no one will have seen what he's referring to and call him out on his bullshit. As I mentioned to the Plagued Moth in the DMs I read before, on my old Twitter account, I used, to, I used to like a bunch of different anime arts and follow a lot of artists because I draw and used to mostly draw anime stuff, like this for example. Just a picture of one of my drawings. This is just like mainly the stuff I drew. I think I drew this for like an art project or something for school or something along those lines. But um, that's the kind of stuff I would draw for example, anime stuff related. Um, although some of the things I liked were cringe in retrospect now, nothing was nude, sexual, or not safe for work images of kids, of course. It's ridiculous I even have to say that. But Sen will twist this in the most disingenuous way as possible and use phrases like, Lyrics liked pictures of many little children to pedo jack at me. When he shows evidence of this, it's just shit like this. And this is a community post puts, he puts out of apparently this being evidence that I'm a pedophile and that somehow I'm attracted to this. This is what he put out saying, Hi, Hey Liam at Lyrix, bring back your old Twitter accounts already so uh, we could see banner art like this. Lyrix lol, do it for your old anime fans, but they need to know you are a man of culture. And this is the picture right here. You could call it cringe, you could call it anything, but to assume at all that I would be attracted to this is just like completely fucking sick. Um, it grosses me. I even have to like make that clarification and statement. So, um, I don't know uh, what the point he's trying to make. Uh, I don't know what point he's trying to make here. Yes, it's cringe, but who the fuck looks at this image and assumes that I'm getting any sort of sexual gratification from this? That's fucking sick. He is maliciously spinning this in the worst light as possible, where of course I never viewed or liked any of these things because I was attracted to them. It's as simple as I just thought it was good art. And yeah, I, I know of course that's going to sound a little gay, I know, but that is truly the only reason. 
There is no basis for these claims from Sen. And mind you, images like this he uses to pedo jack at me are amongst hundreds of different things and art on Twitter that I liked at the time. I just thought it was good art, and to be honest, I didn't put that much thought into it beyond that because there was no reason for me to. At the time, it never even crossed my mind it could be spun and interpreted in a depraved way because it was so far removed from my mind. I obviously knew my likes were public as well for everyone to see, which further gives insight on my headspace that I didn't view this in any weird way, because if so, why would I allow anyone to see them if I thought like I was doing something fucking weird and bizarre? Um, and just on a personal level, it's, uh, it's disgusting to see people think this about me in general at all. And even though it's a meme at this point, the whole lollycon lyrics thing that some people say, it does disturb me if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, it's just like, it's just always weird to hear. I know it's like a meme at this point and it's just, I guess, like pretty funny, I guess, lollycon lyrics, but it's just like kind of disturbing to hear and like um, have people say just fucking grosses me out um, to be and to be 100% clear. My take is that if you're attracted to children or depictions of children, including drawings, then you are a pedophile. I've been very clear about that in the past, but just wanted to reiterate it. For some reason, though, Sen makes purposely disingenuous statements like he has been caught with Lolly on multiple different occasions. But the other proof he refers to as is an old deleted video of me reviewing a popular anime era manga sensei. But this makes no sense because in the video, I shit on it and say how bad the weird lewd parts of it are, even saying that because of for that reason, it ruined the show. There's literally a quote from the video of me saying, what kind of person do you have to be to write shit like, like to write this kind of shit? Sen, but Sen doesn't care about any of this though, and will purposely ignore this because it doesn't fit his narrative. He will just lie straight through his teeth, and for transparency, this was on my ch anime channel, Laraze, that I used to upload on, and I deleted the video, along with many other videos, because I already have a habit of uh, getting very cringed out in my old videos because uh, that I've made, and uh, deleting them, where if you're a longtime viewer, you are well aware of that I've done that multiple times, even on my commentary channels, but uh, especially this was the case on my anime channel that I got cringed out in my old videos, which is why I deleted a bunch of them over there. For clarification, this is my anime channel that I used to upload on. This uh, Lorazi channel, 35K subs. Last time I uploaded on it was six months ago. But you know, as you can see here, I would just uploaded like a couple of Naruto like analysis videos. Some of them actually did pretty well um, with that first one two years ago. They suck and I think these are cringe. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically that channel right there for all just clarifications um, to clear that up. But and also I want to say this. And by the way, I used to like anime a lot more two years ago or so. But ever since I've really fell out with it. And I think the majority of it is very cringe now. And uh, the reason I even bring this up in the first place is because Sen claims I'm just secretly hiding my love for anime or some shit. So the commentary community accepts me. These are like genuine real things that he says to me. Um, and of course, that's ridiculous and just not the case. I still like um, stuff like Death Note, Berserk, Code Geass, and Naruto. But in the majority of anime, I find I just like find a lot of the tropes pretty gay. And uh, the constant shoving, shoving of cancerous fan service just sucks and it's completely like ruined it for me. So uh, as I'm growing up, it just isn't as appealing to me anymore. Just wanted to clear that up as well because it's another like stupid thing that he said. Lyrics, you forgot Lorazi HD. Um, I don't know if you... I don't, are you, do you think I'm hiding something? Um, Lorazi HD is like another channel that I have. I was specifically addressing the channel where I did like anime reviews. This is another old channel that I did, um, that I used to upload on talking about other like anime, mainly Demon Slayer stuff. Um, I'm not hiding anything like just to be hundred percent clear. I don't know if you were trying to accuse me of something, but, um, so, uh, Moving on to the next section, Sen also claims I have lied about my age to make myself look better in this situation, which again, is just not true. I was born on October 5th, 2003, I'm 20 years old, and have always been honest and straight up about my age, mentioning it in multiple videos and streams in the past. I'm not hiding or lying about anything, and I think if you're familiar with my content, you would know there's overwhelming evidence proving that I've always been open about this. I'm pretty sure just recently, with like when October 5th came around, I said openly, dude, I'm 20 years old now. Um, I've never hidden my age. Uh, I've been pretty straight up about this. And there's overwhelming evidence showing that on my channel, on videos and streams. Never have hit it for any reason. 
Um, I've no and plus I have no reason to lie about my age too, since again I never liked any nude, sexual, or not safe for work images of kids, and just fucking disgusts me that I even have to say that. Assuming he's not purposely being deceptive to lie about me, I literally don't know where he got this idea from, but it's important to note that he is the only person who has ever perpetuated this about me. He is singularly the only person who is saying this. But, um, so just want to make that clear. So, um, Sen also claims I deleted one of my old Twitter accounts to hide my likes, which is just untrue and disingenuous. Two of my old Twitter accounts got unsuspended a few months ago. The ads were Lyrix20 and not Lyrix, and I deactivated both of them at the same time to avoid confusion because I had three separate Twitter accounts all under the name of Lyrix at the time, since the other two got reinstated. So it was confusing. I didn't want to have three different accounts that all went under the name Lyrix when people search up my name. Um, one have one singular, singular account. And uh, I just had no use for the other two anymore since my main account that I use now, Lyrix, was getting more interaction anyway. So shortly after they were unsuspended, I deactivated both of them for those reasons. I wasn't hiding my likes on my not Lyrix account, but Sen will interpret everything in the worst faith as possible to use against me, just because he has a personal vendetta against me about this. And lastly, about a year ago on stream, I accidentally doxed my college and my full name in one of my tabs that I accidentally pulled up on stream. It was a fuck up on my end. And then someone decided to post it on my Wikitubia shortly after, which was just fucking great. And uh, it, it ended up staying there for a few months, but eventually someone was able to get it taken down for me because obviously I don't want that up there. But ever since, ever since that has happened, Sen has called me Liam publicly for whatever reason. I assume this is just to get on my nerves, but it's just weird. Um, yes, it's true. I am the one who accidentally doxed myself, but literally no one else on the entire internet refers to me as Liam other than him. And the only reason he does this is to maliciously spread my information further. Every chance he gets, he refers to me as Liam. If you go to his channel, um, you could see on his community post, he, he posts, he constantly talks me, I mean, uh, talks to me and refers to me as Liam. It's just really weird and uncomfortable. Four hours ago, Liam, you called me that. Uh, what's another one? Liam, you're a pathetic little man, Liam. Uh, what's another one? Liam, right here. Uh, nice next vid on Lil Bro Liam. It's very ingen It's very obvious what he's trying to do here. Um, this is only for disingenuous reasons. It's the it's the haha. I know your secret attitude. That that's the only reason he's doing this. Um, so, uh, and he like continues to his, hey, Liam, just like, just to demonstrate that he's been doing this for a while. Hello. Um, does he say Liam on this? Yes. Unlike some people named Liam. Um, does he say Liam more victimize Liam? Um, it's actually disgusting and blind me excuses. So, uh, yeah. So just to demonstrate, this is what he does. This is what he does. See you soon, Liam. It's only to maliciously spread my information. No one else calls me Liam. No one else refers to me that way. But um, I don't know why he thinks this makes him look good. But yes, my name is Liam. Of course, i rather have that private. But uh, it's really gay to see him parade my name around like it's some kind of own to use against me. But now that I dropped out of college and I'm not really worried about people sending my shit to them anymore, I don't really give a fuck. Uh, you just make yourself look like an unhinged spurg by doing this. So by all means, go ahead. Keep calling me Liam. It's, it, you're just making yourself look like a fucking schizo. But uh, in conclusion, Mr. Sen, Mr. Sen is a schizo liar who should not be trusted about anything. So just wanted to quickly clear that up. As you could imagine, it's really frustrating to deal with shit like this, especially having new fans ask me about it who don't know any of the context and having someone blatantly spread misinformation about me and lie straight through their teeth. So just to make it very clear for the record going forward, I wanted to make this statement. Thanks. So for anyone who in the future asks about it, I want to link them that. And if you see anyone else making this statement, link back to this post and explains all the context. Um, that's basically everything I wanted to go over in regards to Mr. Sun and the statement that I wrote up about him. Um, I think I cleared up everything. I think I clear up everything else he has to say about me and uh, really don't plan on talking about this guy um, anymore at all because um, he's just like completely obsessed and will obsessively talk about me forever um, because I don't know. I assume like he sees me getting some kind of success from the Mama Max situation and he's weirded out by that. It makes him uncomfortable because he says multiple times that um, 
Is this your hero? We're literally, we're going to let this guy get popularity off of this. You're going to praise this guy. It just seems like he's mad at the fact that I'm getting like some attention lately from the Mama Max stuff. And that seems like he just has a personal vendetta out to get me. So um, sorry for not reading all the donations during that time. I quickly wanted to go over the donations. Um, he's live right now. I see that. And I know he's stream sniping me. I have no reason to ever talk to this person. This person is as disingenuous as it gets. There's no reason to ever interact with this person. And I encourage you to not. Um, he's completely disingenuous and will lie through his teeth. That's what I wanted to go over. Um, the statement about Mr. Sen, just to clear up any statements that he's made about me. But um, then, now, I want to go over this live stream. Back to Plague Moth of Plague, Plague Moth calling into his stream. Because it seems like he had one conversation with Mr. Sen and then got all of his information and just took it at first hand without seeing any evidence and immediately used that as fucking proof to call me a pedophile or pedo jack at me. So um, just think of the $2, lurk scamming shatters, but not thug shaking oiled. <laughs> you send the most interesting donos, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, here we go. Liam, it's Liam. He put out his, uh, his full name and then he started complaining about it, calling it a dox. But then he started complaining about it, calling it a dox. I mean, you could play semantics about dox. But um, you know what you're doing. This guy knows what he's doing. He's only saying my name to spread my information with malicious intention. That's the only reason he does it. Liam, it's Liam. He put out his... Uh... Like, that's this first sentence to Plague Moth. He's like, how's your conversation with Liam, man? And he's like, Plague Moth like, doesn't even know what he means by that. He's like, uh, who is that? He, he's just like a weird, uncomfortable guy. His full name. And then he started complaining about it, calling it a dox. But, um, you know, Thank you, Saab, bro, for coming to member. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Until very recently. Moth emotes when? Coming soon. So. Okay, real quick, just out of curiosity, not for like malicious shit. Is his last name Butler? No, 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 that's not his name. No. Oh, no. fucking thank <laughs> fuck, because there's that, oh god, okay, there's a, there's some other level of degenerate, and I was like, oh no, this is, but alright. Yeah, so, uh, my, my- Sarah, thank you so much for the $10. Happy Chinese New Year. Caden, thank you for the $5. Was so triggered by the whole PM conversation. He's so bad faith and not even funny. Thank you so much. How did that, like, first of all, I gotta ask, how did that interview go? With you and him, because I only saw a little bit of it, and it's generally the same bullshit. Um, you know, it, it's just—it's literally the recap of something. Like I was in a group chat, and these people told me that, like, oh look, lyrics is gonna cover moth and shit. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, why? Like, what? Like, number one, what is this fucking guy gonna add that hasn't already been added? Was he gonna just regurgitate the same bullshit over and over again? So, uh, yes. This is what I mean. It's just bizarre. Like this, Mister Sun guy is bizarre. Um, he doesn't do any of his research. He doesn't do his due diligence about anything. He just makes blanket statements because he has a personal vendetta against me. I mean, like the <laughs> the pair of balls to say to me like that, given my conversation and how I've covered the plagued moth situation is just regurgitating like the same points. Like, you know, I held his feet to the flame of the fire that uh, I've been doing that no one else seemingly has been able to do yet. And, uh, you know, people like that creepy reading has been like saying like, thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. You did a great job in this conversation. Slime beast. I mean, it just seems like just, you know, petty shit. Like, um, Lyric, what, why is Lyric's going to do this? What is he going to bring up? That's new. It's just pathetic. Like, how did that go overall? Like, how did it end? Oh, it ended basically with them griping over privacy complaints. Thank you, Tyree Lily, for the $5. Do you think Mr. Sen has a weird crush on you? I think those kind of allegations are gay and it's like low hanging fruit. I wouldn't say that, but, uh. Um, and all this is trying to get your attention, like Playground Trojan. Appreciate the five. Because I filed privacy complaints against Slime Beast for, I don't know, using my image in very fucked weird ways, as well as my full name, which was not public and stuff. And given that YouTube said that's a thing, I mean, I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I, I'm, it's more of like that unspoken rule shit where you generally, you know how they're like, yeah, you're justified in copyright striking or copyright taking that down, but it's a dick move. It's one of those things, but it's just like, I mean, technically you don't have to adhere to it. I mean, does it suck for the recipient? Maybe. Um, I don't know what your intentions with doing that is. I have to be so real with you. I don't really care. Um, one of the things that I he doesn't really care. <laughs> the only re see what I mean? He just has a personal vendetta against me. The only reason he's talking to Plague Moth right now is just to pedo jacket me. He doesn't even care about Plague Moth sending out blatant uh, privacy complaints just because he doesn't like people. This guy is as disingenuous as it comes. This guy is a complete fucking like no stand, no morals about anything. Um, Simpleton, $5. Check out the most recent upload you'll enjoy. It's short and sweet and dedicated to you. And anyone else falsely accused by mom, uh, Moth, I'll, I'll uh, check it out. After this, obviously. Yeah. Uh, if you, uh, Please remind me and I'll check it out. What I heard you and him talking about, though, is that you basically called Slime a pedo because he started insinuating you're a pedo. So you found, uh, I guess, what you would call evidence to kind of validate your claim of sorts, right? Yeah, I did. And I saw the evidence you presented was the one 13-year-old girl that he liked that had a flower 
um, that you said you confirmed was a 13 year old, but he denies that it was a 13 year old, right? Yeah. Oh, I can actually get, since you're actually inquiring about it too, I can get the other screenshots available. Like they're on my phone. So just basically in short while I'm looking for these two. So the way this, like how I found this information and how I'll actually come all the people help too, but they were talking in deviant art. They, jo they joined around the same time, which is probably just a coincidence. You know, a lot of people join that shit. Um, but she was very public about- I mean, the, the, what, what, the slime beast thing is the most bizarre thing as well. Like, dude, it's like, <laughs> I was like shell-shocked when he had that conversation with me because he was saying like, yeah, um, first of all, none of these were, none of these conversations that slime beast had with this girl were in DMs. So I'm like, oh wait, all of this is public? Okay, that's a little bit weird. So it's not even in private DMs. It's just public on DeviantArt. And then he says, yeah, also, none of these DMs were sexual either. And I'm like, oh, like, how is this evidence he's a pedophile? What? And, and none of the messages were, were even sexual? It was just like a guy talking to a 13-year-old girl, which I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if he knew that it was a 13-year-old girl at the time. But it's just like there's no, there's no basis behind any of this. The messages he's talking about are also another account that has the same first name as me. That crew burning, thank you for the $20. Why is he justifying moth? Sen is actually justifying this shit. I gave him the rundown too. Take 20 on me, homie. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. I'm looking forward to our conversation tomorrow. Kaden, thank you for the five. Sen is just mad. No one sends him volcano emojis. <laughs> Good one. About her information being posted on there, including the year she graduated. And then you just do the math from when they were interacting with like heart emojis, weird flirtatious kind of conversation, which yeah, I guess that could be considered reach, but knowing her age, being 26, and being like this, as well as favoriting her shit, and then finding Lollicon in your favorites too, I think that constitutes the accusation of being called a pedo. So, <laughs> the funny thing with that is I saw the Lollicon claim, right? And you showed that photo of what was like a, a cartoon dragon uh, child thing, right? Yep, sorry, that's gonna have... Yeah, uh, this is gonna have, uh, what's-his-face in it, but yeah, I actually just sent it to you. Well, I sent it in the group chat. So, so, okay, fuck. Let me see this shit. What is this? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what Lyric... <laughs> That's actually so, the first. I mean, dog, that's actually right. the I'm first. Fucking wrong. I don't know, man. But to me, that's that's not cool. That's nasty. So I saw some of the defenses um, in Lyrics' chat for this. This is kind of the issue I have with him. Lyrics, when he talked to you about this image, or he talked to you about Lollicon in general, I feel like he was very fence city. Like he was trying to find the right answer, not what he actually. Very fence city. I'm pretty sure I say it outright in that conversation, straight up, that if you jack off and if you're attracted to children or depictions of children, then you are a pedophile. Pretty sure I said that verbatim. Just lies straight through his teeth, though. I mean, he like self -admit, admits that he doesn't even know the context of this conversation. He has no clue what he's talking about. But he just wants to try to get easy dunks on me because he just has a personal vendetta. Things. So he went and he was he was like almost playing two sides. Like he didn't want to call Lollicon pedophilia, but at the same time he was very much leading. In it's just literally not true. <laughs> it's not even what I said. In that direction, which is again like. I mean, fuck. <laughs> like, what the fuck yeah, is... You know, it was, like, right at that point, I was like, oh, great, I already know where the fuck this whole stream's going now. Like, I, I just, like, and, and, I mean, just a little and bit play, of... And listen to Plague Moth, dude. This guy's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I knew, I knew, like, the direction this stream was gonna go on after this conversation. Give me a fucking break. It's just, like, you just brush off all my other claims. Brush off all my other defenses. Brush off all my other arguments. And just, like, say, um, he's a pedophile, so his points don't matter. I'm not going to cover a lot of this. I just want to make a brief stream going over the copes that uh, Plague Moth has done and also going over the DMs. I did do a late stream too, um, also. Um, sorry, someone's DMing me real quick. Um, here, uh, let me... Uh, Here, I saw Slime Beast. Look at DMs if you're watching. Look at DMs. Because I'm interested to uh, see your side of that too. Because I'm pretty sure everything got fleshed out in the conversation and he didn't have any basis behind it. But I'm interested to see uh, like your side of things too and have a conversation with you. Because I don't think I talked to you about that. Um, lyrics don't give this loser attention. I'm not giving it a lot of attention. I'm just wanting to address the Plague Moth side of things. And him quickly, the minute after our conversation, he immediately hops in this fucking guy's live stream. And uh, copes about fucking... The debate that we had the minute, the literal minute after and just brushes off all my arguments and by pedo jacketing me. But uh, Simpleton, thank you for the five. It looks so much worse on him here. He's just coping and seething. Yeah. Killer, this guy called people. You weren't glazing moth enough. That was why he tried to pin you. That's what I found so bizarre too, is that when he tried to like accuse me of having a bias, 
It's like, dude, you were fucking parading my name and sucking my dick. You even gave me a fucking shout out after my conversation with Cold Raven after shitting on him. But now, the minute after that I start giving you critiques the same way I gave Cold Raven critiques, now you have a problem with it? Like, like seriously, dude? Now, now you think that I'm biased towards you? Fool, that we're in, like, I mean, he didn't even really... Uh, like he set somebody up to look like a pedophile for lollycon in the past so it's like this is, this is like okay so it seems like slime beast can't um all good slime beast can't call in but we got the creepy reading call tomorrow really looking forward to that as well as going over the vosh and like a couple uh fucking tipster h3h3 stuff which is hilarious i clipped a bunch of the shit i got people to clip a bunch of the shit he was saying in that interaction because a lot of it is gold uh because of the shit that i have on him so it's really funny though that he's making these weird stances and shit when he's like number one he's done the same for less number two his pals ever i've done the same for less I've done what the same for less? Called other people pedophiles for less? What does that even mean? Everybody in commentary for that matter. Most if not everybody that's judging you. I will say, for, for exception, exception, fucking funny enough. I know you hate this guy, but TCR actually didn't call you a pedo. He's, he's the one that hasn't. But generally, like, commentary for the most part, at least the ones that you haven't talked to, they're just like, they just call this shit like pedo, 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 pedo shit, right? I think because they look at things the same way you do. Funny enough. But this guy over here, he's just dancing around it. He doesn't want to really... Con didn't dance around anything. He just doesn't know what he's talking about because he didn't do his research at all. I mean, there's nothing to even comment on. This is what I mean. There's nothing to even comment on. He just doesn't do his research at all. He just blatantly lies through his teeth. And uh, banks on the fact that his viewer base is as dumb as him because they won't do any research and they just take his word at face value. So I just want to make it very clear with that statement for the record that this guy sh should not be trusted with anything he says. But uh, Katie, thank you for the $5. So wild watching Plague Moth morally grandstand with his entire career is what <laughs> it's built on watching people die horribly. Yeah. I mean, those are critiques I didn't even bring up to him. You know what I mean? I could have brought that up to like um, Plague Moth as well. And like made moral arguments too, but I didn't even bother with that. I didn't even talk about that and try to like morally grandstand them. I just talked about like the very like specific conversations and allegations directly against him. I didn't like biasly try to morally grandstand against the guy. Lurks has been lying through his teeth because the whole um, thing has been point blank explained to him by his friends and myself. Yeah. Damn it. Then he brings up this weird fucking shit. Lyrics is now saying that even if it's a sexualized lolly, if he doesn't get 100% proof of you jerking off to it, Apparently it's okay. That's literally Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Literally what he's saying. That is what I fucking took away from that too. And then when I confronted him. Yeah, that's literally what I'm saying. You're really doing this right now, bro. You're really doing this. You're really doing this. I don't know, man. When all of them like Lollycon, and then he comes up with that, I'm like, oh no. Well, here we go. You like, my good graces to farm me for content. But that's, sure. listen, I so yeah. That's basically in conclusion. That is Mr. Sen. Just want to do a quick late night stream. Clear up all of that and give the responses of uh, Plague Moth. Wanted to keep it very clear and concise to have a conversation, um, to clip this up and put it on the channel tomorrow too as well. To get this the gayest circle jerk ever. I mean, yeah, like the, he needed he needed to fucking like have his dick jerked off after getting bent over and fucked for two hours straight in our conversation. Big main channel video coming. Just a little short stream today going over all this information. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to conclude it, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the little stream. But uh, that's going to do it. Hopefully that clears it up.